it works. Uh, just uh, four days ago, we know the combination, the spacecraft, has conducted repositioning, and they have retreated to their position 400 meters away from one another. And then they will begin automatically approaching one another. And from 140 meters parking point, the astronauts will take over and manually docking the two space vehicles. Of course, they will stop at the 30 meter parking point before they have a full contact. And then they will form a combination once again and fly as one. And through this illustration, we can look at how the astronauts have been training at the training center on the ground. It requires a lot of uh, operational accuracy. As we know, the space vehicles were moving pretty fast at 7.8 kilometers per second. Well, it takes a lot of intensive training to master the skills and perform the tasks uh, accurately. Actually, we know Bose docking mechanisms are very essential for the success of the mission. In case any accident happened during the process of automatic docking, the astronauts will take over and manually docking those two space vehicles. Actually, we know many docking has proved to be a lifesaver in the past. During Apollo 13 mission, uh, the automatic mode went wrong, and the astronauts took over and saved the spacecraft. Manually docking process is a milestone in the roadmap of China's space station program. But what China's space station in the future looks like? Let's take a look at this structure. Well, there is a central unit, that's the uh, core module that is providing, providing pressurized environment and living quarters for the astronauts. It also provides guidance, navigation, attitude control, and propulsion. And of course, there is also a node that connecting all the parts together of the space station is like an adapter. On, on the two sides of the node, there will be China's experimental modules that providing pressurized environment for researchers to conduct research in microgravity. And of course, there will be cargo ships, that is a cargo ship on one end, carrying cargoes to and from the space station, and there will be Shenzhou manned spaceship that we're carrying crews uh, from the Earth to the space station. That is the 16th structure uh, that China Space Station will look like and where the astronauts will be living and working for quite some while. Well, we know after this docking process, after metal automatic docking, this will be the manual docking. And after that, the astronauts will control the positioning and the speeds of the joint combination once again. And let's take a look at how the process unfolds. Manual controls have been a feature of the Shenzhou series since Shenzhou 4, but until now, they've never been used. Following the automated docking operation, Shenzhou 9 will back up 400 meters away from Chenggong 1. It will then approach to within 140 meters. It will be at this point that the controls will switch to manual and the astronauts will be maneuvering the vessel. This marks the first time for Chinese astronauts to control the spacecraft manually. It will be a major test of their skills. The astronauts have gone through rigorous training in a virtual capsule in preparation for the manual docking. The two handles in the front control the movement of the spacecraft. The right one is for attitude control. The left one is for translation control. Flying a spacecraft isn't as simple as driving a car. Space makes it difficult for human eyes to judge relative positions. So astronauts need the help of a cross drone fixed on Tiangong-1 and a TV camera on the spacecraft itself. The camera will shoot images of Tiangong-1. Our goal is to adjust this cross so that it fits with the cross drone. Then we'll go ahead with the docking process. The two handles control direction. When the two crosses match, the docking process is a success. When the docking process is complete, the screen will show the docking rings touching. That will let the crew know the operation has been successful. Maneuvering in space is a difficult process, requiring good judgment, perfect coordination, and the ability to process information quickly and accurately. These are all necessary skills for successful manned docking. Well, the astronauts will perform another historic maneuver that's manually docking with Tiangong-1 again. How the astronauts have been doing over the past week? Are they prepared for this? 
Of course, uh, they have performed many uh, experiments on board the Tiangong-1 target vehicle. Uh, they have do many ex uh, experiments about the space uh, medicine, the space uh, biology, the space uh, physiology. Uh, and of course, uh, they have uh, performed many pre preparation works uh, for the manual docking today. Uh, yesterday, they performed a um, very, very important experiment uh, uh, for, for, for this mission. Uh, you know uh, that uh, in uh, mm, a normal situation, the whole combination will be charged by Tiangong-1 target vehicle. It mm. has control moment gyroscope. Mm. Co uh, it only uses electricity to control the attitude of the whole combination. But yesterday, the control switched to Shenzhou-9 mm. spaceship, and Mr. Liu Wang uh, sit in the middle of the uh, re-entry capsule and use his controllers to control the attitude mm. of the whole combination. Although the inertial uh, features of the combination is quite different from that of the Shenzhou 9 spaceship, it is bigger. Uh, but uh, his controls mm, can prove that the control system and the handles are sensitive and accurate enough mm. for the missions today. Mm. And they have to switch the control to Shenzhou to detach from Tianlong 1 again. Uh, not detached, but uh, this, uh, today it is detached, but yesterday uh, he controls the attitude with the thrusters on Shenzhou 9 spaceship okay. uh, of the whole combination. All right, and now we have an illustration of virtual reality from our sister channel, uh, CCTV News in Chinese. They will show how the manual docking uh, will take place. 很多的观众朋友都非常的好奇，说我们航天员的手控的交汇对接究竟是如何来进行的呢？好，我们首先要请上的就是我们在太空当中，And right now, we'll illustrate it with the United uh, Vehicles, Shenzhou 9 and Tiangong 1. Our astronauts have been living for six days inside the combination. Everything goes well. And inside it was very spacious, which made their work go smoothly. And before the manual docking, our astronauts will retreat to the re-entry module with their spacesuits inside Shenzhou 9. Let's take a look. With their space suit, they get more protection. They will get back to their seat inside the entry module. And their sitting position will get changed. We'll explain it more. When Shenzhou 9 was launched, the chief commander, Jing Haipeng, sits in the, seated in the center, with Liu Wang seated at her right-hand side and Liu Yang on, on his left-hand side. And during this manual docking, Liu Wang will be the operator, and he will sit in the center. Why is the change needed? Because there's something hidden un, uh, in the center. In the center seat, there are two manual docking uh, buttons. They have different functions. Take a look at the left-hand side one. It controls the movement of translation of Shenzhou 9. It allows the Shenzhou 9 to go up and down, left to the right. So it changes the uh, position of Shenzhou 9. Actually, up in the space, the adjustment wouldn't be so dramatically. And the button on the right-hand side allows Shenzhou 9 to pitch up and down, to yawn negatively to positively, and to roll. Also, the adjustment wouldn't be so dramatically up in the space. All the move, all, all the all the adjustments will be very delicate. 
To slightly change the relative position, option to nine, and tingle one. With the operation of the both buttons, the Shenzhou 9 will get adjusted during the way of manual docking and get to approach to Tiangong Wang. And let's take a look at the instrument panel in, in front of the astronaut. We zoom in the central screen on the panel. There is a big cross on the screen, a circle and a small cross. This is actually the footage taken from a camera on Chengdu 9 of Tiangong Wang. When the small cross locates exactly on the right cross, on the big cross, the two vehicles are in the right position to dock. Otherwise, adjustment of relative position is needed. There are six dimensions and twelve directions to be adjusted. And it's a highly, it's a high, uh, very high demand for our astronauts. The crew have been trained up to two thousand times, and Liu Wang was always perform, has always performed the best, which put him in the position of the operator of manual docking. Shenzhou 9 will withdraw to the 400 meters parking point during, before the dock, manual docking. When it gets close to 140 uh, 40 meters, we'll start the manual docking. And the last 30 meters will the most stressful distance for the astronaut. Although the relative uh, velocity of the two vehicles is about 0.1 to 0.2 meters per second, but the absolute uh, velocity is about 7.8 kilometers per second. And thinking about the weight of the two vehicles, if a collision occurred, uh, it will be disastrous. When it's get when they get approached, and the rings will start, and after that, the rest steps are just uh, mechanically finished. And all the uh, this procedure will take about 10 minutes. I interviewed Liu Wang before, before we, uh, the launch. Manual docking has been one of the most demanding tasks in space, space uh, program. How much? Uh, is, uh, are you sure about the success? And he said, yes, I'm 100% sure, which shows his confident and ability. But still, the process is very risky. So let's uh, wish a luck for them. Well, that's an illustration of how the manually docking uh, will work in a, about a 10 minutes time. Uh, we will be witnessing this historic moment. Uh, according to this illustration, it seems that the astronauts will uh, test this maneuvering on the ground for over a thousand times. Why do we need to test so many times to grasp the skills? Uh, mm, the manual docking is very useful, very meaningful, and also very uh, important for the future missions. Uh, you know that uh, the manual docking system and the automatic docking system can be recognized as backup for each other. Mm. Uh, during the history of manned space activities, uh, many missions were uh, saved by the manual docking, the, uh, especially in the early stages of the development of space stations, the EGLA systems, and also uh, the uh, curse system of uh, the so former Soviet Union and the Russia uh, often have uh, failures and malfunctions during the missions. Uh, when this happened, the manual docking uh, saved their uh, missions. Uh, you know that the uh, former Soviet Union prefers to automatic docking during their uh, flight.